So it's the 19th of August and the grade boundaries for the GCSEs have come out today. So scared right now. So results day is tomorrow and uh, I just got to deal with it. Anyway, so we're going to be looking at the grade boundaries. I just got a message from my mother who's at work. She's basically saying to have a look at the grade boundaries that just came out on AQA. So um, this is the grade boundaries. Well, this is the student room. Hi to all the GCC students out there. Well, it's that time of year again. In just a few days time, i.e. tomorrow, uh, we're going to get them grade boundaries. These links will turn blue. Okay. So, uh, AQA. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to write down all the grades, all the subjects that I need uh, results from. So, biology, chemistry, <laughs> electronics. <sighs> okay. Um, electronics is AQA, computing, OCR, okay, biology first, <laughs> B, biology, unit one, higher tier, biology unit one, <laughs> language, Latin, <laughs> geography, <laughs> uh, elec, Electronics. Electrons, I written because I don't know how to English. Okay, biology, higher tier, unit one. We got 48 out of 60 for an A star, 38 out of 60 for an A, 29 out of 60 for a B. <sighs> unit two, 45, 38. Uh, 29 oh. Biology unit 3 higher tier. Wow, that one's high 42 for an A what 37 oh My god, oh my god 37 for a B 70% for an A Oh my god is 78.3% 48% to get a B on B1 <laughs> Chemistry C1 That's high That's high That's even higher For an A star, I need 155. For an A, I need 125. And for a B, I need 95, which means on average, I need 100 and divided by two is 77.5 each. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> um, 125 divided by two, 62.5 each. I can do that, it's easy peasy, hopefully. And this one uh, is 47.5 out of 100 for a B on average. So percentages uh, is 77.5% for an A star, 62.5% for an A in maths in, on Edexel, and 47.5% on each paper for a B, which is basically 100% likely unless I royally messed up <laughs> okay okay my camera just ended so uh, let's hopefully make sure that everything's all set up properly I can't find the ones for English literature and English English, English language. Okay. So, we're basically looking at around, basically anywhere from 83% to 8 to 61%. That 61% is in geography, 
the first one's uh, 46 out of 75. And then in chemistry one, 83.3 recurring percent for an A star. The lowest A grade is in also geography, actually. 53.3 uh, recurring, 40 out of 75. And then the highest is, the highest is Latin, again, with uh, 76. I knew that Latin was going to be a pain for an A. And then the lowest B grade is also geography at 45% for a B. And the highest is Latin at 65% and that's Latin but basically, if I want A stars, I, I basically want an A star in maths, and I want A stars in either biology, chemistry, and physics. Or all of them, that's fine. And maybe one in geography, maybe, just because the grade boundaries are really, really low. So uh, overall, I'm, I'm looking at an A in biology, A star, hopefully in chemistry, A in physics, A star in maths, a B in English lit and language, hopefully. No, an A star in language, what am I thinking? Latin, language and literature together, hopefully an A, but probably a B and definitely not a C. Geography, hopefully an A star. Was I going up or down? No, I was going down, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Geography, an A star. Computing, an A, hopefully, but probably a B. And electronics, an A. Okay. That'll be it for all and now. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you tomorrow for results day. I'm mentally preparing myself. If it doesn't go well, I... My life is over. Yeah. Thanks for watching this video, everybody, and I shall see you tomorrow for the grand reveal. Goodbye.